Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about the differences between C and C++, ok. So, first coming to C language, C was introduced by Dennis Richard and C++ was introduced by Barnes Rootstrop. Okay, next C is a procedure oriented programming language. So, here we will use procedures, okay, and C is a object oriented programming language. Here we will use objects, okay, and next third one is in C language we will use input and output functions like a printf and scanf. Okay. So, printf is an output function and scanf is an input function in C language. Okay. In C++ uh, we will use input function C in and output function C out. So, C in is my input function and C out is my output function in C++. Okay. Next, here the file extension is dot C. Here you will save the file with a dot C extension. In C++, you have to use a dot .cpp, cpp means C++, okay. You have to save the file with a dot .cpp extension. Here in C, we have to save file with a dot .c extension, okay. And next, so here the program is divided into modules, okay. Here the program is divided into classes and functions. Okay, the program is divided into modules and the programs are divided into classes and functions. Okay, and next C is a top down approach programming language. Okay, so top down approach means at the top main function is defined and all the sub functions are defined in the bottom through the main function you can make a call to the sub functions that is the top down approach and in this top down approach decomposition will be occurred that means decomposition takes place that means we can divide a large problem into sub problems by using functions you in this top down approach okay so c follows top down approach Next, C++ it follows bottom up approach. So, here in C++ we will define the main function at the bottom and also here small problems, okay. We will, we will solve all the small problems and we will integrate them, okay. And we will complete the solution that is the bottom up approach. Here decomposition takes place, here we will combine composition takes place in bottom up approach. A large problem is divided into small pro problems in top down approach. Here what we will do, we will solve all the sol small problems, we will integrate and we will complete the solution that is bottom up approach. Okay. Here at the top main function is written, here at the bottom main function is written. Okay. So, C follows top down approach. And in C++, it follows a bottom-up approach, okay. Next. So, here in C, data security is less. Data security is less in C. Here in C++, as we use objects, okay, data security is more. Data security is more. Okay, we will uh, encapsulate the data. Data and functions will be encapsulated. Okay, in C plus plus. So, as the data is encapsulated, okay, security of data will be more in C plus plus. In C, data is free. That means we are not maintaining any security to the data. So, data security is less in C. Whereas data security is more in C++. Okay. And next. So, in C language, 
we don't have any virtual function concept okay operator overloading operator overloading next function overloading function overloading okay next uh, exception handling exceptional handling all these concepts are not present these concepts are not there in c plus in c language but c plus plus supports all these languages okay c plus plus supports virtual functions operator and function overloading next exceptional handling okay all these concepts will be supported by c++ okay so these are the main differences between c and c++ okay once again i am going to repeat c was introduced by dennis riche and c++ was introduced by barnes trutstrup okay next c is a pop that means procedure oriented programming language procedures are nothing but functions so c is completely depend upon the functions okay and c++ it is object oriented programming language that means the programming language which depends upon objects that is object oriented programming language so c++ is a object oriented programming language even though it is object oriented programming language it supports a procedure oriented programming language also because c++ is defined from c right so that's why it supports this language as well as in addition to that it follows object oriented programming features also okay next here we will use a printf and scanf as an input and output functions printf is my output function and scanf is input function in c language coming to c++ we will use a c in as an input function and c out as an output function okay so to take the to read the values from the from the input that means from the keyboard we have to use a c in okay to print the output on the screen we have to use a c out function okay in c++ we have to follow these two syntaxes these two functions we have to uh, write for input and output functions next uh, that means uh, for input and output statements we have to use a c in and c out in c++ okay next one is a uh, file extension is a dot c that means we have to save the file after writing the code we have to save the file with a dot c extension file name dot c here in c++ we have to save the file with a dot cpp file name dot cpp extension okay the file extension c is dot c and file extension in c++ is dot cpp cpp stands for c++ okay and next one so here the in the programs are divided into modules here the programs are divided into classes and functions that means the program is made up of classes and functions here the programs are made up of modules okay and next c follows top down approach that means we can divide the large problem into smaller problems by using top down approach okay so by using functions the main advantage of using functions is dividing the large problem into smaller problems right so as a c follows a procedures so that means functions here it follows top down approach so in top down approach the main function will be written on the top and all the sub functions can be called from the main functions sub functions will be written on the bottom okay so in bottom up approach the main function will be written at the bottom so here what it takes here it uh, it follows a decomposition here it follows a composition okay that means all the smaller problems are solved and they are integrated together okay and it will complete the main solution that approach will be followed by bottom up okay next here as it is a function oriented data will move freely in c so that's why data security is less in c language next to coming to c++ data is encapsulated it follows as in the encapsulation data is encapsulated okay so in c++ data security will be more okay and next 
here uh, in the CV we do not have virtual functions, operator overloading, function overloading, okay, all these concepts, exceptional handling, okay, all these concepts we do not have in C language, okay, but in C++, it, the C++ contains all this language, all these concepts which are powerful concepts, okay. So, virtual functions, operator overloading, function overloading, exceptional handling, all this will be um, allowed in C++, okay. All these uh, uh, concepts are used in C++, okay. That is why C++ is a more powerful language than C language, okay. So, these are the main uh, uh, differences between C and C++. Thank you.